Hi, my name is Darius. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm at the Mazda Stoke because I am testing the car there behind me, Mazda MX-30. And you know what? I love the look inside. I love the look outside, and I cannot wait to test it. So make sure you stick around to see my impression and review about this car. Stay tuned. So yeah, this is my old Leaf. It looks very dated now. Look at those new cars, especially this one. What a beast. Wow. So the range is showing 117 miles, average consumption 3.1 miles to the kilowatt. Interesting. We'll see if we can. Uh, make this uh, a little bit better okay I actually uh, turned the uh, aircon off so I'm getting 123 miles and I have managed to restart the miles to the kilowatt so I have a trip of about 70 miles today so that will be interesting uh, how many miles to the kilowatt hour I will be getting when I get back but so far I'm so impressed with it Okay, so my first impression, I really, really like the look. I love the build quality. I love the entertainment system. I only been driven this car for about 45 minutes and it, everything is so easy to navigate. The entertainment system, easy to use. I think this is the easiest car that I work it out within like minutes, how to use, uh, all your stuff which is brilliant now this is 35 kilowatts uh, hour car so the battery isn't the biggest however as I said before in my other videos uh, that I don't really need the car that's going to do 200 miles if I can do about 120 I'll be really happy and you know what this car is capable of doing this quite easily so so far I am getting 4 or 4.1 4.2 kilowatts now so far I am actually getting 4 4.1 miles to the kilowatts an hour which means uh, I should be able to get the 120 miles pretty easily and we are talking about mixed motorway going 60 70 50 depending on the limits uh, I could actually go so I wasn't actually going slow I wasn't going very economically I just drive the same way I would normally drive my Nissan Leaf okay so really impressed so far honestly this is my favorite car so far because first of all there is a keyless entry uh, by the way I am uh, hoping to replace my Nissan Leaf which I had for a couple of years now and I did uh, 70,000 miles on it uh, and I can only get about 70 miles uh, real world range and I lost one bar of the battery so the whole capacity now is about 18 kilowatts an hour also this car I did say it has 35 kilowatts battery but it's actually 30 kilowatts the usable and again it's fine for me so things I really like so far the first one I said already the keyless entry uh, it was nightmare with the Corsa E the regen uh, with the pedals is my favorite way my wife has this in her Mitsubishi Outlander and I always loved it I always miss this option in my Nissan Leaf uh, however Honda E had this option and it was brilliant so this ticks all the boxes for me so far. Also, another feature 
is the head of display. I believe this is the top of the range. So you get those nice leather. I don't know if this is a proper leather, but it might be like an eco-friendly kind of the stuff and you can tell some like recyclable materials here and there, uh, which again makes this car pretty unique inside. But yeah, so far so good. Shame that I have this car only for 24 hours, so I really enjoy it. The driving experience is absolutely gorgeous. The sitting position, it has three seats in the back, uh, and a decent sized boot as well. So I can possibly get my dogs in there quite easily. I'm just enjoying everything about the car. There is not even one thing that I don't like about it. So. We'll wait and see, maybe tomorrow I will be able to tell you what I don't like about the car. So, so far, huge thumb up uh, to Mazda, very impressed. Right, I am back home now. I'm gonna take some pictures because there is a beautiful sunset. Uh, you can't really see it, so I'm gonna take a couple of snaps and let me uh, show you the figures. Okay, so I did uh, 70 miles exactly. I've got 43% left and 57 miles so I think the way I drive uh, I should be able to get like 130 40 miles in the town pretty easily uh, so yeah I'm very impressed to be honest I think this is a better range than Honda E mm, of course not as good as Zoe but I don't care that much I don't need that 200 miles of course I was doing great but again quite happy with this Mazda so let's take some pictures oh very important thing actually when I so these are the paddles that I was talking to you before you can use it and you got on the other side here for going off brilliant such a great feature uh, what I've noticed is very unusual in electric cars and um, when you charge your battery up to 100% when you use the uh, regenerative braking normally it doesn't actually charge the battery but in this case I was doing this um, from 100% which is very unusual so I quite like that Right, do you have enough space at the back? Yeah. Luca, hey, stop playing around with the seat. <laughs> okay guys, it's nearly uh, end of the day. I have to drop the car back to Mazda. And to be honest, there's only one thing that I don't like about this car and it has to be the door. It's not very practical. It was absolutely amazing until I got the kids in and it started to feel a bit, uh... So let me show you. Okay, so let me show you what's actually uh, an issue here because when you got passenger sitting here using the seat belt okay and you want to get out of the car very quickly look what's happening so that person that is in the front they need to actually undo this and then get out of the car then close the door and it's just a bit uh, I don't know it's just a bit too much for me but other than that, look how much space you've got in the back, which is brilliant. And as I said, the build quality is absolutely outstanding. I am nearly at the garage dropping uh, off back the Mazda TX30. And I have to say, I love this car. If I would score it from zero to 10, it would be uh, a good nine points. I can't give it 10 because of the back door. Other than that, it ticks all the boxes as I said before really great quality the range does the job for me and let me show you I picked the car with 1040 miles so I've did 99 and I've got 20 miles 21 miles left and 16 percent and yeah happy day so 4.1 miles to the kilowatt hour this is the average um, town, motorway, A roads, B roads. It's a bit of a mixture. So this car is capable for sure 
of getting 130, maybe 40 miles in a town. Let's have a look at the uh, consumption now. This is so easy to use. I wasn't too sure about this to start with, but it's just so intuitive. Like you put your hand on the armrest and it can just use everything with the wheel. It's not a touch screen, but it's not a big deal. Very easy to use. So let's go up to efficiency. As you can see, that's the average one, four miles to the kilowatt an hour. But yeah, I love it. I would definitely recommend anyone to try few cars before you make a decision of buying your next EV. And I'm glad I did. I wasn't actually considering um, Mazda to start with. And then I just got, uh, I've just seen an advert somewhere and I was like, oh, oh, this is a nice car actually. And, and to be honest, I love this car, brilliant. Uh, drives absolutely gorgeous, the quality is great. Um, the charging speed isn't the fastest because you can uh, charge it up like 50 uh, kilowatts charges, not a big deal for me. For some people it might be an issue. It's not the fastest car, again, I don't really care. Uh, nil to 60 on the 10 seconds, fast enough, uh, faster than the Leaf. The boot size is bigger than the Leaf. You can get five people in the car, so happy days. But I'm not sure about the door, is this gonna work? Yeah, I mean, so far this is my favorite car. I will be testing more cars, so make sure you stick around with me and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Right, I forgot to mention, I will be buying a car on PCP Finance and possibly part exchanging my Nissan Leaf. So uh, it will be interesting to see uh, what the figures are going to be uh, with the Finance. So yeah, make sure you stick around on my channel so you can find out which car I am going to buy. Thank you.